going to France, boys. I feel sad. I only have one Miata in Connecticut now, but I don't think we're going to be working on this thing today because Anton has been working long and hard on his turbo Miata. So check this thing out. You want to talk about what you've been doing? All right. Um, so we had a couple, you know, after we drove it the first time, my grandpa's, did, did we talk about that at all? Um, I did vaguely, but you can kind of talk about what broke and stuff. So the radiator was leaking a little bit. So I put the other one in backside of the actuator. I don't think it was tight enough. So it like wiggled off. Yeah, it wiggled off. And so it was just the backside and it's like adjustable. So I had to make my own. I think Which I honestly, I'm stoked on it. I think you did a great job. What was this all Home Depot stuff? Uh, Carl's True Value. Oh, not bad. <laughs> Shout out to them. Yeah. Uh, no, but I mean, I had to, you know, I cut this with a grinder and I, you know, you know, heated up and bent it. And I thought it came out pretty cool. No, dude, that looks professional as fuck to me. He tightened the intercooler piping, which I'm not too stoked about the clamps. I keep telling him about that, but you really don't care. Put my power steering belt on. That is a huge success for you. Been kind of cleaning up the valve cover. Gabby helped me a lot today doing that. Trying to just, you know, clean up the odds and ends. And yeah, I'm a little sad that our spray paint job didn't really hold up too good, but it, it looks better than what it did. That's all that better, matters. Way better. This is, I'm a little scared about this. You want to explain this right here? Yeah, it's quick, cheap. I gotta take the downpipe. No, no, I'm not talking about the downpipe. I'm talking about the feed hitting well, the that, downpipe. Like I was just telling you, I have to take the downpipe off anyway to bring it to <laughs> more fab to weld the bung in. Yeah. So I'm not like, it's heat wrapped right now. Once I put, put the downpipe back on, I'll do it right. But we're gonna tune it anyways like this. Yeah, why not? All right, well. You heard him, why not? So we got the computer here. Um, You said <laughs> last night you did a burnout in this. Oof. Tell me how that went. Actually, it was sick. <laughs> It, it was, was long, dude. It was a long one. Jesus Christ. This thing is like not even like tuned at all. Oh, You're it's over breaking here. up. I'm like trying to keep the tire <laughs> spinning. <laughs> well, I think the first thing we need to do is we need to plug the computer in. We need to go for a ride and I guess we'll just start adjusting. I want to see what it feels like now and what we can get it to feel like later. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. All right, let's get this puppy on the rub. All right, so we're in Anton's Miata second. What's going on? I'm Just putting that in. Everywhere. All right, so we've been tuning this thing for about 10 minutes, and see, it's going good, but it doesn't feel like it's boosting hard. We don't have the boost gauge connected right now, but I'm gonna say it's a good five pounds of boost. So just to make sure there's no leaks or anything, we're gonna go. No, just unplug it right here. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna unplug it. Get this out of the way of all the belts. Maximum boost. We want maximum boost. Just to know that there's no leaks, we're not gonna run it like, well, we still have if it's reliable enough, we might run it like that, you know? Wait a minute. What? Just leave it. F it, dude. You ripped it, dude. Did I? You ready for maximum boost? Maximum boostage. All right, so technically right now, this thing should be fast as- boost, uh, Probably 23, 24. 20. No, 30. Anything over 20, dude, it's gonna feel crazy. It should feel a, a huge difference if there's no crazy boost leaks. Well, we still have the leaks from the holes. I thought you were said you were gonna JB weld it that night. I was gonna, but I never did. <laughs> Story of your life. <laughs> Tonight's the night. Yeah, we'll see about that. Dang, even she's scraping, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, scrape life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got it feels quicker. Yeah, but there's a major leak somewhere. You could just tell because you should be spinning tire right now, dude. Give it gas. It's definitely faster. Way faster. It's not 20 pounds of boost fast no. though. I'm not a tuner. I don't know what I'm doing. This is just 
our only source of tuning right now, so this is what we're doing. Hey, it's dude. not working out terrible. I mean, we're hitting boost. Okay. So we did just talk about doing a burnout, but the more I was trying to tune this thing, the more it was like kind of breaking up and stuff. And like, I don't think right now, I mean, even though you did one last night, like a fucking asshole, I don't think it's smart to do. 
the first thing we need to do is we need to get the base timing on this. We haven't checked it yet. Anton just got a timing light and stuff, so we're gonna do that. Um, before we continue anything. Okay, man. Did you finish that video? What video? No, I was kind of skipping through it, man. It's kind of weird. Is it I'm like, like... Anything like... The thing... It's crazy. We're talking about the MM Haunted House. What is it MM, called? The MM Manor. Yeah, the... the one that's like... McKinney Manor yeah, or something? Got, like, you have 40-page waiver and, like, some crazy shit. The crazy thing to me is it's called a haunted house. It's, it's a torture house. It literally is so... Did it show, like, actual... Yeah, it was, it was like them shoving fingers in their mouth, like pulling their hair, choking them. It was some weird shit, dude. And this is all on YouTube, and I'm getting demonetized. Anyways, for saying agate. agate, you know what I mean? <laughs> we need to do the base timing. Yeah, back to the important stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to be like the legitimate tuner. Like everyone's telling me to hit up Jimmy, hit up these guys, hit up Jack. And like I don't want to hit up any of those guys until we can actually like get everything like sound. Still doesn't have an AFR gauge. You need to pull that downpipe off tonight and bring it to Morfab tomorrow so you can get that bung welded so we can actually see what's going on. Because around 5,500 RPMs, like every single time it is breaking up and like I can't tell if it's too lean, if it's too rich, I don't know how to mess with the ignition table or anything. So like we're kind of shit out of luck until you do that. You can take that sucker off right now. I know you don't want to. Oh, this is it. Yeah, you're already over it. <laughs> you saw that that's in the way, you're like doing it tomorrow. Yeah. We need to go play some pool though. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, we didn't get much progress, but you can hit more boosts now, right? Kind yeah. of. No, there's definitely more. And your favorite thing is? The backfire. <laughs> I fucking love that. Every single time I was making the fuel table richer, the pops would get so loud. It was awesome. We were riding through Torrington and just every time it was a pop, 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 pop. <laughs> There was like kids in costumes. He would rev it up just so it would pop. You know? <laughs> right in front of the cop. Yeah. <laughs> Dude's a right, sir. But anyways, we're going to go play pool. We're kind of done messing with this. Um, we, We're not going to keep tuning this or call anyone to tune this until, until we get we the, until we can get that boost gauge figured out, AFR gauge figured out, and we can also get all rid of the boost leaks. I know someone's probably going to say this was a boost leak. We did end up capping it with a bolt and stuff, and it actually ended up running worse, believe it or not. Yeah. So I don't know. We got some work to do. Good news is this thing is running and driving. Like You can reliably drive this to work and stuff that my back side actuator that i made there is gonna sc is screwing it up any honestly i don't know that's a question for the kilometers i mean it looks straight i mean i think it works can you pull oh that's hot not enough oh that's flexible i gotta tighten that <laughs> I really don't know, man. Why should that just not even be working? Well, if that wasn't working, it was just stuck closed, you should be making all the boost. That's true. All, all the boosts. All the boosts, you know what I mean? I just cleaned this today, dude. It's already dirty. Well, it's good fun. news is I didn't mess up on any of the seals because I see zero oil leaks. No, no. Which I'm pumped on. No leaks on anything. Which is sick. Everything is coming along well. well slowly but surely. Definitely yeah. weren't going to make the drift event. <laughs> I told them that today. I'm like, I, I think we're crazy for thinking we were going to make it to that drift event. Like, it'd be one thing if, like, we were in Florida and, like, Jack was right there. Like, we threw it all together. Like, hey, Jack, two in this. But, like, that's not the case. So, you know. <laughs> Jack's about 1,200 miles away. Yeah, he's about 1,200 miles um that way. I just guessed. Anyways, we're gonna go play pool. I don't even know if this is a video. I'm gonna edit together and see what we can make out of it. All right, guys, well, we're back in my mom's basement. We got Courtney here, this beautiful, young, attractive Ew, girl. Ew, what are you trying to do right now? I want you to chug that twisted tea right now. Go. She is 23 years old, so this is allowed. She is totally above drinking age and she did it so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you guys want to subscribe for more subscribe for more today was more of a chill relaxed day i just told anton i would spend the day driving around in his car and we would try to tune it honestly it is far from perfect but at least it's drivable he can hit boost like little boosts he can't just full on mad it because the car will break up and like if he lets off the throttle, goes back on, it is a little choppy. I don't really know how to do that. Um, I have zero knowledge when it comes to tuning. I want to stress that. So if something does happen, because I have been telling him, dude, I don't know what I'm doing. If something does happen, I don't want to really be blamed for it. So I just did the outro. So <laughs> goodbye. If you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And we'll see you that was, on the next one. Do you like that? That was great. Look at me. Oh, I'm so cute. I can't believe Literally I just showed the that. Cutest. Ew. Buy the movie. Bye.